Good morning, everyone, or good evening, depending on where you are. So I have a question for you. Have you ever gone on this roller coaster ride where you pour your heart and soul into your code? You feel really proud of yourself once you're done. You submit it for code review only to be met with comments that are harsh, blunt, and sometimes downright rude. Yep, so many of us can relate to this deflating experience, right? The fact of the matter is that co-reviews are a form of feedback, but they often lack that thoughtfulness that would be exercised if critiquing someone on, say, anything else. And trying to make every code reviewer be polite and thoughtful is just a feat I simply don't have the energy to take on. And I realized long ago that I can't change people's actions, but I do have control over my reactions. So I've taken a different approach and it's worked marvelously on every team I've been on. Sorry, I get to my slides. Right, so with this approach, that's what I'm gonna to present to you. It's my 10 commandments of navigating code reviews. First one, thou shall not take it personally. So you can get nasty review comments for various reasons. And let's be honest and state the obvious, <laughs> some people are just jerks, right? But some people, they may lack the social skills to be able to give feedback in a constructive way. Some people, they thrive on power and, you know, they get off on having that authority to say ship or no ship. Some people, they pride themselves on being brutally honest and they don't want to go that extra mile to soften messages. And some people have biases that color the way that they see you. A study of GitHub code reviews show that people are way more critical when they know it's submitted by a woman. And trust me, as a black female programmer, I've certainly gotten my fair share of rude and patronizing comments when joining a new team, whether it be corporate or open source. But wondering if I'm getting this comment because I'm a woman or because I'm black or because some combination of both it's only gonna stress me out. <laughs> and I imagine other underrepresented demographics may have these same thoughts. And I know a lot of junior developers who do as well. But here's the thing, dwelling on why you're getting rude code review messages, in my opinion, is a waste of time and energy. And you'll only become further frustrated. Now, don't get me wrong. This sort of treatment is in no way cool or acceptable, but I also don't think fighting each of these reviewers head on will result in the change that we wanna see. So to save my own sanity, I give every reviewer the benefit of the doubt and assume that their comment is directed to the code and not me. Now, one way to avoid taking things personally is to not become married to the code. Take that ring off, okay? Now, I know how much of ourselves we invest into the code that we write, and that passion is great. But if you truly want to commit the best solution possible, you have to be willing to accept that maybe the best solution is not the initial one you submitted. Let's look at an example. Here's an exchange in a given code review. So it says, this is complex for no good reason. You don't have to show off, less is more. And the submitter replies, this is not me showing off, it's a complex problem and thus warrants a complex solution. Well, it says you can accomplish this same thing with a single while loop. And they say, my solution works just as well. You know, I really worked hard on this sad face emoji. 
Now let's take a step back here. When someone looks at this, you, the submitter, are the one who looks emotional and defensive. The rudeness of the reviewer's comments is overshadowed by the submitter's attachment to that original solution. Now, once you've learned to detach yourself, it becomes a lot easier to actually hear what the reviewers are trying to say, right? So you will avoid going through the torture in your head of why are they being mean to me? Is it because I'm fill in the blank? And I can't tell you how much stress this helps avoid because now you can read past the bluntness of the comment and you can see the point that they're trying to make. And now you're free to truly consider it. Is what they're suggesting actually a better solution? If it is, thank them and make the change. So, when the reviewer says that you can accomplish the same thing with a single loop, the submitter says, good point. That would be cleaner and remove some of the complexity. Let me work this. Thank you. Now, doesn't that sound so much better? Now, having said that, let me acknowledge that more times than not, you probably do have the most optimal solution to the problem you're solving. Right? So when someone suggests that you should change your code, don't automatically assume that the person is right. You worked on this for hours, maybe days, and the reviewer is just kind of throwing ideas out there after seeing it for only a couple of minutes. So consider the reviewer's suggestion if you haven't already, but if yours is better, articulate why and do it right there in the code review because you want all the other reviewers to also know how thorough you are. So the convo could go something like, you could accomplish the same thing with a single while loop and you reply, yeah, you know, I initially thought the same thing, but I have to also iterate through this list. That led me to this solution, which handles all cases. Look at that. Now, let me tell you, I've seen the rudest people change their tone after I make such a statement. And I've now earned their respect and I've proven that I'm just as smart as they are because I originally had that same idea. And you know what? I might even be a little bit smarter because I've considered something that they haven't. So this is a sure way to get people to ease off in future reviews because they now trust that you know what you're doing. Now, let's say that you've considered their recommendation and you know that's not the best solution, but they don't think that your solution is the best either. What do you do? Well, you don't get into a heated back and forth exchange. You know, after a few messages, if you can't come to an agreement it's time to step away from the code review and offer to collaborate offline on the solution. So the exchange could go something like, you know, well, there has to be a simpler approach to this. And then you say something like, you know, I'm all for the simplest approach possible. Let me find some time on your calendar so that we can whiteboard it out. You didn't crumble, you know, and just take their solution. You also didn't get emotional because you are not married to this code. And people will appreciate and respect both of these qualities. Number six, thou shalt contribute to others' code reviews. Now, if you're always the submitter and never the reviewer, you're going to be perceived as more junior than you probably are. And think about it. The people who are most respected on the projects are who? The ones who are frequently reviewing other people's code. And it doesn't matter if the submitter is more senior than you are. Even better, right? Think about how powerful you become when you're able to help them see something that they didn't before or you introduce them to some new technique. This is instant dev cred. It also allows you to see other coding styles and techniques, which in turn can make you a stronger programmer and more knowledgeable about the code base that you're contributing to. 
Number seven, thou shall treat submitters how thou wants to be treated. Now, when you're reviewing code, remember not to take on the same attitudes that you despise. Just because someone is brutal and leaving comments for you doesn't mean you have to stoop to that level. And I know that this sounds obvious, but listen, I've witnessed levels of pettiness that adults simply should not possess. If someone just ripped you apart in the code review, yeah, it's tempting to return a favor when you see one of their pull requests come through, but don't do it. Be the bigger person and stay true to who you are. Comment on that review the same way you would like others to comment on yours. And who knows, maybe your charm and professionalism will rub off on them. Number eight, thou shall not be intimidated by the number of comments. I know that it's super easy to feel like a total amateur when you have a review with tons of comments, right? And things get even worse when there's multiple people making multiple comments. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, this doesn't look great, <laughs> but don't count yourself out. Remember, it's code, don't take it personally. Right. So if you're new to the project or it's a new language or a new framework or a new library, simply chalk it up to a learning opportunity. Go through each of the comments, review them, defend the solutions that you believe are right, accept the ones that are better. But the key here is to communicate. So I had to do a project in uh, Swift once and I'd never used that language before. And my first few submissions were riddled with code review comments, even from people who were junior to me and that stings, right? Um, but I was new to the company as well. So I hadn't yet established a reputation with this team. And it became crucial to me that I didn't become labeled as this emotional woman who doesn't know what she's doing, right? So I had to explain my rationale, but in a non-defensive way. So the review went something like this. The reviewer asked, why didn't you just make the functions argument optional and set it to a default value? And I say, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. We don't have that option in Java which is the language that, you know, I rock. So, uh, you know, I said, I'll make this change and read a bit more about it as well. So this shows you're grateful for their help. You're not dumb, you know, you just are used to another language. And more importantly, you are willing to learn. Number nine, thou shall not repeat the same mistakes. This is a big one. Pay attention, all right? Because nothing annoys reviewers more than having to tell a person the same thing over and over again. And I've seen cold reviews become nastier and nastier when this happens. Now, when you accept someone's recommendation and you make the change, take a moment and internalize why you accepted the recommendation. Because there's a lesson in there. And this goes back to making sure you're not blindly accepting recommendations just to get people off your back and get your pull requests accepted. If you're doing this, you may not be processing the why. And the why is the lesson. And once you understand why, you're not likely to make that same mistake in the future. So if the reviewers are not explaining why they are giving you this recommendation, ask them, you know. And when you're reviewing other people's code, always provide rationale with your recommendation. That helps it stick better, okay? Now, when a reviewer tells you something once and you immediately start incorporating it into your future submissions, people realize you're sharp. And they only have to tell you something one time and you get it, they have no choice but to respect that. And the final commandment is to embrace the nits. So there are people <laughs> who seem like major nitpickers. If you don't know any, it's probably you, right? Um, and their only comments to you are about misspellings and other trivial things that the linter didn't catch. If you've gotten to this point, congratulations. You've actually managed to write code that your team has no problem with fundamentally. Remember, 
Don't take it personally. Don't roll your eyes and say such and such always has to say something. Such and such probably respects your work and just has an eagle eye. Fix the stupid typo, keep it moving, all right? So there you have it, folks. These are the Ten Commandments, and it's the gospel according to Angie. I keep them with me on every team that I work with, and they've not failed me yet. They've helped me to go from newbie contributor to well-respected contributor in a matter of a couple of weeks. So I hope that they work just as well for you. Happy coding.